So, today we're going to learn about infant immunizations, and I got a PowerPoint for you guys that we're going to go over, and then a worksheet for you guys to work on, and then we're going to play bingo again because you guys seem to like that. Woo! And I have can Does anyone have peanut allergies? What? To what? Peanut allergies. Um, what type of peanut? I'm allergic to a certain type. Really? Yeah. Then, and I've got chocolate if she can't get a peanut. Okay. Okay. So, what do you what do you guys know about immunizations? Yeah. <laughs> it's like part of the disease is being injected into you, so you don't get it. That is correct. Hold on. Yeah. And you can get. My mom's a nurse. I know these things. <laughs> Why is that in technical? So why is it? Why is it? So what you said. <laughs> so you don't die. What are some reasons people choose not to get They're afraid, or they might be allergic to it, or they don't want it. Oh, all right. So, Can we just ask Zach everything? We'll he talk knows. About that. Okay. We'll talk about reasons why people get it and why people choose. It. Yeah. And like the myths around it. So. Okay. So immunization. It's a process where their immune system basically they like build up your immune system so you can fight off diseases. So they give these to babies so that obviously later in their life they won't get sick because babies are open to all kinds of diseases. So. Um, and they give them a vaccine. The vaccine is the actual thing that they inject into you. And the vaccine is like, it, it teaches your immune system to fight off the disease. So a vaccine is like a weakened or dead um, part of that. So say it's polio, it's like a weakened or dead strain of polio that they inject into you. Um, and I've heard of people getting sick with the flu, but I believe with uh, most of the vaccines that they give to babies, you cannot actually get sick from the vaccine itself. You can't get the disease from the vaccine. So, why should my child get immunizations? Well, protects them from diseases, um, infections, uh, babies. A lot of people think that, well, my baby is, because babies are born with antibodies from their mother, and they're like, well, then my baby's got like natural immunity, which is not true. Um, the baby gets antibodies from breast milk being born, but that only protects against infections that the mother is immune to and only for a very short period of time. So it does that, it reduces the number of infections. Um, there's all, all kinds of infections that can happen. Since they've uh, like had immunizations in the US, like the number of diseases has gone way, 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 way down. Um, and a lot of schools require it. So. Uh, these are some of the myths of immunizations. Um, one of the big, one of the big like controversies right now is uh, people have kind of come to the conclusion that vaccines can cause autism, which is a developmental disorder. And um, this, they have actually found that this is not true. Uh, there's like a lot of correlations with it that people are starting to realize that their children have autism around the time that they get vaccines, which doesn't really mean that the vaccine causes it. And then that it also does anyone remember what SIDS? Awesome. Shaking. That's another. That's another myth that people believe that it causes sudden infant death syndrome, and that is not true. I think um, what studies have found is that sudden infant death syndrome is much more common around the time that people get vaccines. <coughs> so people try and link them, but the like those don't cause it, and like that fear alone is not. A lot, a lot worse can happen over not getting your children vaccinated. Um, so. Next, we will talk about some of the infections your child or you can actually get without the immunization. The first one is, or the first three are <coughs> diphtheria, tetanus, and pertussis. 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 Diphtheria is a respiratory tract illness. Um, not good. It can affect breathing. Um, it can cause fevers. Tetanus can cause muscle spasms, and you get that from like, like a wound or puncture wound. You can get that from like, like a, a lot of, a lot of people are afraid of like rusty nails, that kind of thing. Um, it 
causes something called lockjaw, where your, mu your muscle spasms in your jaw like prevent your jaw from moving. Uh, pertussis is also called whooping cough, and it's pretty common in kids. It causes severe coughing fits. And the vaccine, which is a common vaccine for kids, is, is DTaP. So. Uh, hepatitis A and B. Um, this is a liver disease. Uh, hepatitis B is so common in the world, I think they say a quarter of the world's population, like two billion people, carry it. Um, it doesn't always show up symptom-wise, but um, easily preventable with the vaccine, and it can, can cause death, both of them can. Ah, uh, right, so this one. Hemophilus influenza. Hemophilus. Hemophilus influenza. Um, it causes bacterial infection. I believe it causes, um, it can cause bacterial meningitis, which is extremely deadly. Um, what's that? Yeah. yeah. I knew her. She was my friend's yeah. friend. It's pretty, it's pretty, pretty bad. It's um, she was a also leader. preventable. Like a lot of, a lot of people yeah. will want to get um, she died actual meningitis shot she went vaccine to before they go to college. She she went, actually knew a kid she went a few to years ago that was going to see me that died because of meningitis. She went um, to say, just it's nasty. It can cause a lot of other things. It also causes uh, pneumonia in babies. And if anyone's ever seen a baby with pneumonia, it's not, it's not a happy state. Actually, had pneumonia twice when I was She dating. went down there and, and the vaccine is HIV. She thought she had a cold or something. All right, the next one is polio. Um, this used to be much more common uh, a long time ago, but they've since kind of eradicated a lot of it due to this vaccine. Uh, it's a viral disease. It's also known as infantile paralysis. It um, affects the spinal cord and causes muscle weakness throughout the body and can cause like full paralysis. So the vaccine is IPV. Rubella. Uh -huh. Measles, mumps, and rubella, also known as the vaccine MMR. This is the big one that people were afraid of with autism, which has been proved wrong. Measles is an infectious respiratory disease. Um, I believe it causes a rash. Um, mumps is viral. It causes painful swelling, I think, of the um, salivary glands, and it causes facial swelling. And then rubella causes flu-like symptoms. It also causes a rash. A lot of these cause rashes in children. Um, varicella, this is also known as chicken pox. It causes, has anyone in here had chicken pox? My brother did. A lot of you, um, It causes skin lesions. For those of you that had it, no, it's not, it's not any fun. Um, I remember when I was a kid, they put socks on my hands so I wouldn't itch. And they just, it makes you cover your whole body and these little lesions and they itch. And you just gave my brother his own. Um, I don't know if they still do this. When I was a kid, people would try and get their kids to get it. Now with that vaccine, yeah, it used to be if we knew someone that had chicken pox, we'd take our kids over there because you want them to get it when they're young versus wait until they're junior high or high school because it's really miserable. Yeah, and, and you so can die from it vaccine, when you're an adult. So people don't do that anymore. So that's why I'm kind of scared that if I get older like, and oh, I have it, like, like I'm scared. And then I had it. <laughs> I was like, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys tricked me. So fortunately, now there's a vaccine, so that's good. You don't have to do No one has to trick their kids anymore. So I, was not, I was not happy when that happened. Um, yeah. And then there is rotavirus, which causes severe diarrhea in infants. Um, it's often mistaken for the flu, uh, but it can, cause, it can cause death through like dehydration, which is a big thing that happens with kids when they get like diarrhea or placing fluids, so that's important. The vaccine is RV. Alright, the next one is one that I'm sure most of you have had at some point in your life now, is influenza, and this is the, the basic flu, and um, you should have this every year, ideally, and it's the vaccine is just the flu shot, the common flu shot. Um, that every year. Yeah, every year. Um, it can actually, especially in kids, it is 
it, it can kill you. I think there's like, I don't know, so many deaths per year due to the flu. A lot of it's due to like dehydration and high fevers. Wait, you're like you should get it every year. Um, yeah. Really? I I only get it like if every you, now and you, then. If you do get a flu shot, you should get it every year to protect. Because they every year they come out with like um, a new shot that is for like new strains because it's always mutating. So. Oh. The next one I'm also gonna try and pronounce. And it's called Streptococcus. Streptococcus. Yeah. Streptococcus pneumonia. Yeah. Okay. And this is also a major, major cause of pneumonia, and it also causes bacterial meningitis, which, as we talked about, is not is, is a nasty, nasty disease that can kill in a matter of hours. Um, this vaccine is called PCV. Oh, no, go back. Okay. Okay. Alright, now, you guys aren't supposed to see that yet. I have a worksheet for you guys. Uh, uh. Are you okay, Madria? You just tired? Film the class. <laughs> it's all three of you laying down in a row. So what you guys are going to try to do, if you can, um, is this is going to be like an immunization, immunization schedule. So you're going to use the key at the bottom, and you're going to try and put it in each one of these represents a month, so two months, four months, six months, eight months, birth, and yearly. And you're going to try and put the vaccine into each of the boxes. It's going to act as like an immunization schedule that you can look at and see if I have a kid, um, he needs to have vaccines. Do you, does everyone have books? No. There. Right there. All right. Yeah. 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 Camera on candid camera. <laughs> You're on candid camera. <laughs> Helping your child to see. Let's read the title. I don't know. Wait, what page? What page? Oh, is that <laughs> right. And then any that you cannot fill out, because I know uh, some aren't in the book. Um, I think they're around page 70, maybe. Um, I will show you that chart in a few minutes, and you can fill it in. And then I was going to, if you guys are able to, if you remember um, what some of the, I know we went through it kind of quickly, so um, it's kind of fine, but just try and fill in in the key, like which. What the what the what the vaccine infection name is? So, like an example, IPV is polio. So, 
you guys want to work on that for a few minutes? Do I start recording now? Yeah. Okay. How do you press? Just press on the button.